So Rihanna being on Wakanda Forever soundtrack was divine timing. Hey, what's up? I'm A Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So Rihanna's involvement on the new Black Panther Wakanda Forever soundtrack was nothing short of divine timing. Ryan Coogler told Hip Hop DX in an exclusive interview. The director said that just as the circumstances of his life and career made Kendrick Lamar the right artist to create a theme song for the first Black Panther film, Rihanna's recent journey into motherhood made her the perfect choice to do the same for the sequel with Lift Me Up. It felt right for us because motherhood is a massive theme in this movie. Um, and 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 and, I, and that was kind of timing up for her, you know. And in a, in a similar way that that the, when we were finishing the first film, like 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 around the time Kendrick was 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 in many ways like inheriting this crown, you know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Like like for for the for the you know, um, like like it was like man, what's the chances of us making this movie? And, and Rihanna becoming a mom. As evidenced by the film's trailers, Chadwick Boseman's death has been worked into Wakanda Forever as the death of King Chala. The film centers on how the women in his life, particularly his mother, Queen Ramonda, move Wakanda forward even through their grief. According to IndieWire, following the film's premiere in Los Angeles on Wednesday night, October 26, critics applauded how adeptly Ryan Coogler managed to introduce the necessary storylines and characters to continue to move the cinematic Black Panther franchise forward while still celebrating Bozeman's legacy. Rihanna's Lift Me Up plays an important role in honoring the late actor, and that was intentional on her part, Coogler said. When she recorded Lift Me Up, um, which, was, which was incredibly moving for me, like when she recorded it, she said that, man. She's like, y'all, I was trying to do I was trying to do this man and his family justice. I was trying to make something worthy of, 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 of what he gave to, to, to us. Um, so I, I, I take no credit in that, bro. I was, I was playing a role. Ahead of the LA premiere, Rihanna had tweeted a teaser trailer announcing the new song, which hit streaming platforms on Friday, October 28th. The teaser opened with the singer humming in the background as the letter R appears on the screen next to the Wakandan spellings of her name and song title. According to an official press release, Lift Me Up was written by Rihanna, Tims, Kugler, and Ludwig. The song was recorded in five countries and was produced by Ludwig, who won an Academy Award for his work on the score of Black Panther in 2019. Lift Me Up also marks Rihanna's first release as a solo artist since her multi-platinum 2016 album Anti. Even as a featured artist, Riri's last appearance was on Party Next Door's Believe It in 2020. Her absence from the music world has sparked an ongoing outcry for new material by fans on social media. As such, fans began hoping for new music the minute Rihanna announced that she would be performing at the halftime show at the Super Bowl in February. Asked how he managed to get Riri back into the studio, Ryan Coogler told DX. So check it out, man. Like I, I don't want to misrepresent anything, man. That, that, that. Rihanna, Rihanna does what Rihanna wants to do. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. And, and, and um, you know, I didn't, I didn't get her to do anything. You know, you know what I'm saying. I, I think that I, I think that that time and lined up. Um, she has a phenomenal team. Um, you know, kind of led by by Jay Brown. And um and some some great some great folks around her, you know what I mean? Omar and, and a lot of Rock Nation folks and, and I got a friendship with 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 uh with, with, with Jay Z. Um, you know, we, we wanted her, you know, like like uh but everybody wants her, you know, <laughs> and, and, and and um so it was like we, we kinda stuck with it as a as a idea, you know, stayed in stayed in Jay Brown's ear. But we kept working, man, you know what I'm you know what I'm saying, and and, and, and working on other music. I can't wait for you to hear the soundtrack. Man, that woman, bro, with all she's accomplished and all she's given us in such a short span, you know, she she she's earned the right to do whatever she wants to do, you know what I'm saying, in terms of her, her career, you know what I mean? She wanna take it, I wouldn't even call it a sabbatical, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, man, she's just doing, she's just doing her, you know what I mean? And, and when she wanna and when she wanna get back to us and give us some, you know, like she wanna give us clothes, man, we'll take them. She wanna give us makeup, man, we'll take it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's whatever. You know what I mean? The Black Panther Wakanda Forever music from and inspired by is set to hit stores and streaming platforms on November 4th, just ahead of the film's arrival in theaters on November 11th. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.